Yeah, but we're on. Nice. <sighs> Whoa, that is bright. I'm here in Germany to celebrate, well, really just to pick up my new bike. And I thought I'd celebrate it with you. And we can do a bike check, maybe show you some of the riding around here. So Nath's just putting the finishing touches on my bike. I've got to be careful not to show any others basically focus bring all their dealers here to show them the new product and i don't want to show you one that's secret the one that you're going to see now is no longer secret as of today so uh yeah let's go and see if he's got it finished <gasps> The internet. <laughs> is that place then place name is Hearts? No, Brown Lager. Brown Lager. What does Brown Lager translate to? Brown Lake. No, bro, yeah, Brown Lager means like position. Brown position. <laughs> Brown. Poker is partner days actually. Not a nice. Uh, our dealers can try our new bike. In the back when they want yeah, to you shouldn't something. show them. <laughs> oh my word. Oh. Dude, how cool does that look? I was just going to do the intro. This is the new Focus Jam Square Bosch. So let's start at the frame. The frame is size medium for this Jam Square Bosch. It's built around the new Bosch motor, which is super exciting. It's actually an alloy frame, despite having super smooth welds. If you have a look around the head tube, you can see that. How crazy is that? You literally can't tell it's alloy. So the new motor has completely different mapping, but that's not all. The battery system has changed drastically. It's available in a 600 and an 800, which both fit in this frame. I'm currently running the 600, but it's super easy to take out and replace if you want to go on longer rides. Of course, my bike, as always, has DMR components. Let's start at the cockpit, where I'm running the O-Dub bar in 35 rise. That's with the 35 clamp on, again, a Defy 35 stem. I like to stick with one number so I can remember it, you know. I'm running the Death Grips in thin. I actually run the Got Gum Compound, not only because it's harder, but because it takes way longer to wear and it kind of stays in that worn in period for much longer. I have flange grips literally because I think it looks cool, I've got to be honest. Of course, the Death Grips aren't the only Brendan Fairclough product I've got on my bike. I've also got his pedals, the Volts. I've gone for them in ice colour here. As with all my bikes, I run the DMR Stage 2 saddle. Onto the circles. I'm running Flow S2 stands wheels. These are the e-bike specific wheels and I've got e-bike specific tires too from Goodyear with the Wrangler MTF and the Wrangler MTR. So for the shock, as with a lot of my bikes right now, I run the Xfusion H3A air shock. That delivers 150 mil of travel. Up front, we've got a fork I cannot talk about. You'll hear more soon. Brakes are the new TRP Evo Pros. I've not had a chance to ride them yet, but they've got extra added adjustment on the lever and they feel amazing so uh, 
this is gonna be my first ride uh we got loads of amazing trails out here in brown lager i think that's how you say it and uh i wanted to bring you along with me man it should be good Bing bong! this is an invisiframe public service announcement that's right we've just joined the invisiframe team and we're here to tell you about some of the benefits the invisiframe paint protection film is non-yellowing it's also self-healing for light scratches they just disappear Invisiframe is stain resistant and will protect your bike from knocks and scratches. Each kit fits millimetre perfect and there's over 40,000 to choose from. And in the unlikely event your bike isn't one of those 40,000, then one of the universal kits will have you covered. And when it comes to selling your bike, you can peel off the Invisiframe. Underneath your vessel will be absolutely mint guaranteeing you the maximum resale value. Cha -ching. You ride it, we protect it. <laughs> <laughs>